What's going on guys? Welcome to another garage video. As you can see, I'm fresh off of work, but I'm too excited because I think today I can get this thing started. It won't be done, long way from done, but I think I can get this thing started to make sure everything's running, make sure there's no crazy oil leaks or anything. So that's the plan for this video. Hopefully I can get it tonight. If I don't get it tonight, I'm gonna get it tomorrow. But by the end of this video, this thing will be started. If Unless for some reason it doesn't want to start, then we'll figure it out. But um. Uh, last weekend was pretty busy, so I didn't really do anything last weekend to the car. Kind of left it kind of last time you guys saw it from the last video. But I did manage to uh, get the harness that I was missing. Ray talked about the harness that I was missing. It's right here. This is for an adapter harness. So there's an adapter harness on OD2 cars, most of them, that run from the crank position sensor to the van. And then it plugs in here. Oh, like a jumper harness? Yeah. So shout out to Hanan. He actually had the harness laying around, so I got that. He actually was the supplier for my transmission, too. So Hanan, you're really doing me a lot of work right now. I appreciate that. And um, But then I went under there, had to change some fuel lines because some fuel lines were broken. And I also needed a new fuel filter, so I went and picked up a fuel filter. And I'm swapping that in there. And uh, I also went and changed my... Um, Transmission bolts. Remember those big ass bolts I used that were way too big? Oh, what the fuck, Black? What? What'd I do? You did a fucking big ass bolt. <laughs> it's hitting your block. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is that? It's a transmission bolt. That's the it's wrong bolt. A, that's way a, too long. <laughs> Well, you ran it into man, the... Man, that looks like a spark plug. What you do? That went in, though. <laughs> yeah, it bent going in. Hey, in my defense, the transmission didn't come with bolts, and I had a box of bolts, and I'm like, this looks right. So <laughs> they were definitely wrong. <laughs> but I did manage to get those in there, so I got the right bolts in there. So I don't want to hear it. You can't talk about me no more. We're good. We're good on that. So, yeah, that's where we are right now. Going to go ahead and try to get this thing all buttoned up and started and make sure everything's idling good no oil leaks or anything like that um also i did do something so you guys are following the build you know um i'm always open and honest with you guys i fucked up i fucked up pretty bad it's kind of embarrassing but uh shit happens so when um you guys were looking at the turbo manifold remember when i first put it in it's like wow that's really close and some people made some good points that you know won't it hit the side when you like shift or something like that because the motor's going to move a little bit so i had this idea of taking washers see now back when i was on my stance shit i had washers under my motor mounts you know to give me a little bit more clearance so i figured let me go ahead and put the washers back under my motor mounts to give me a little bit more clearance it worked but i fucked up when i raised the engine so you take a wood block, you know, just put it on a jack and you raise it from the oil pan. I thought it would go straight up, but the trajectory wasn't right, in it? I fucked up, man. I fucked up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, but it does give me a little bit more clearance. God, but yeah, I fucked up, guys. So, I mean, luckily, and I feel so stupid because this was sitting up here and I didn't even think to put that there just in case something goes wrong. So I'm so stupid for doing that, but whatever, man. Luckily, when the turbo is mounted, it kind of blocks it. I mean, I'll put some touch-up paint on there. You won't really see it unless you're looking for it. So if you're watching this video, you know it's there, but from the outside, you won't see it. That scratch make it real ugly. Make you not even want to drive it. <laughs> quote from next friday but here's what it is man i make mistakes i'm not embarrassed can't be embarrassed by making mistakes you can only be embarrassed if you don't learn from them remember that but it's not all bad news i got good news liquid molly has reached out and they want to supply the first oil change thank you liquid molly they hooked me up they've been watching the story and instagram and seeing this thing coming together and they've sent out some oil and so I got a got my 5W40, two gallons of that. Got my uh, Ceratec. Ceratec is a good additive. You add it and uh, it reduces friction and maintains your horsepower. I use it in the M32. 
Got some uh, Jectron fuel injector cleaner. Got some gear oil. And some ATF fluid. I use ATF fluid in the power steering, so that works. I got everything I need. But yes, thank you Liquid Molly for that. I really appreciate that. I always use Liquid Molly anyways. If you guys know, I use Liquid Molly in the M3. Had that thing for three, maybe four years, and I drive the piss out of it. And it's been Liquid Molly ever since I had it. So I've had it, you know, I put like 95,000 miles in that thing. It's been perfectly fine, Liquid Molly, every time. Thank you, Liquid Molly. Really appreciate that. Let's get to work. All right, before we get started, I'll switch you guys over to Black Vision. I haven't had this thing in a long time. Remember, I used to do POV videos every once in a while, especially for like repairs and stuff. Well, I kind of left this in uh, June's car, the F10 M5, when I did his review, and I haven't had it in months. So I got it now. So let's go ahead and switch you into Black Vision. All right, and let's get to work. First thing I need lights, lights, camera, action. I love this thing so much. Anyways, so here's the oil filter housing I changed. So this is my return line. My return line is fine. I got long as return line, but I need to replace my feed line from here to uh, there. So my garage is messy. I've been, I've been working, man. I hate, I hate it when it's messy, but hell, and I can't concentrate either because. I'm thinking of other stuff, what am I doing? This isn't really mounted, I don't have a bracket yet. I was looking for a bracket, but it's kinda hard to find. So I'll probably, I will go back in here later, but like I said, I just wanna start it, make sure everything's good, so I'm not 100% gonna be done with this area, but that's fine. Get it started, I wanna know what's going on, and I'll be on to the next phases. All right, that is in. I got extremely long line because I got a too short line last time, so I figured I'd just have some spare. As far as my intake studs, I don't have any. I had, well, I have two. This engine only had two of them, so I need to find an old head to get the rest of the seven off. So, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna pull this off anyways. But uh, I will go ahead and put one or two in. These are the two I kept. Got my stud thing here. Put one right there. Should be good enough. Just to temporarily mount it, get some nice intake suction. All right, what's in my way? Okay, first off, I know this long boy goes to the bottom of this intake. This is the thing I had to uh, replace with the threaded one. I actually broke the other one. Remember when? Uh, on the flashback, they've told me to put sealant on it. Well, I didn't the first time, so when I pulled it back out, put sealant on it, and twisted it back in, it broke. <laughs> so this is my second one. So be careful with that, but I have it now. And uh, yeah, that was a $40 mistake I definitely didn't want to make. Should be nice and clean in there, hopefully. If not, it's only gonna burn up. All right, now I do have nuts for that. So let me go, let me go grab my nuts. Our brand new ones, those core pack nuts. I think it's these, should be seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You gotta take this damn L. I just want to see you start, man. That's that's all I, you know what I'm saying? This ain't perfect. Obviously, I wouldn't keep that fuel line in there like that. But just 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 start, man. Just, just do me one favor. Just just start. I'm also going to go ahead and switch out the banjo bolt too. Because that banjo bolt's for the turbo line or maybe I'll throw the turbo on. I don't know. We'll see. Depends how late it gets. All right, I've been looking everywhere for my funnel. I don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna have to make a mess. Do this old school style. Try to be nice with the hands. Burn up some damn towels. Look at Molly time. 
I'm definitely gonna spill. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I might. I think I got it. I got it. No, I ain't got it. Fuck it, I got it. Oh, oh, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. There's one. I'm gonna put like half of the other one. I don't even know why I wiped it up. Like I'm not finna put another one in here and do the same damn thing. Wait a minute. The cap comes up. Man. I ain't know it did that. All right, let's see, where we at? Oh my God, that's so much better. <laughs> oh man. That makes so much sense. All right guys, it's about to happen. I think it's about to happen. It better happen. M52, please, please start. I beg you to start. Please, please start. Let me set up this camera too. All right, before I start it, since this thing hasn't had any oil in it, I need to build the pressure up. So I'm removing fuel, fuse pump, fuse 18, which is a fuel pump. Use. I know exactly where it is because I always have problems with it. Boom, right there. 18. Was it? It was still good, right? Yeah. So that way it won't start. It will just crank. Uh, I need to plug up my uh, thing because obviously the battery is dead. Wow. I got lights. I haven't heard that sound in forever. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey man, if you don't shut your ass up. Oh. Hey, Ebony. <laughs> She's somewhat alive. That feels kind of cool. All right, so this is not gonna crank yet. We wanna f go ahead and, so. It's just gonna get the oil pressure going. That battery's super dead. I believe there's actually gas in there. If you guys know my car, my car never has gas. All right, it should be enough oil pressure. So, <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm kind of nervous right now. All right, guys, what do you think? It's gonna start. <sighs> that battery's so dead, dude. Oh, fuck, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Remember what I said, is everything plugged in? <laughs> uh, kinda need a brain. God. All right. This is already ED EWS deleted. It's a actually has an RK Tunes tune on it. So shout out to RK Tunes. All right. Is everything wired this time? I think so. I mean, shit. I think his battery's just too dead. I don't know if this thing can jump it. One bitch. I'm just worried this battery isn't charged either because you know I barely drive that car too. At least it's a newer battery. There, that lights up on its own already. And I'll hook this up just in case.
Come on, baby. Yo, shut. Yo, yo, what, what, what you doing, bro? Oh shit! I just killed the battery. At least I can say the compression sounds good. So I feel like it's gonna start, man. It has to start. Start. Just you can start like right now. Right now would be perfect. I gotta tighten this shit. I can see, I can see my return line slipped off. <laughs> so, now I got some leaks. But I am getting fuel pressure. I will fix you later, bro. I just, all I gotta do is start and then, you know what I'm saying? We can do that, we can fix you another day. But, now I won't crank, now I'm kinda worried. Now I'm confused. Why don't you crank? What are we doing, bro? Come on, man. I'm stumped, man. It's not, I don't know what it is. I'm not fuel pump. I mean, it's not even clicking. It shouldn't be the starter. It's a brand new starter, but I don't know what else to do. This is insane. Fuck, man. <sighs> All right, GoPro died. Um, been out here frustrated for like the past, I don't know, hour and a half. I might have figured out what I messed up on. Um, so I took the manifold off, right? Cause I wanted to check like the starter. Cause like I said, it was, it was clicking at first. You guys heard it click and actually crank and all of a sudden it just wouldn't even try so uh asked ray um and he says it sounds like a bad ground so i checked all my grounds but i think i messed up <laughs> a ground i was going for appearance right and i didn't even think about this um when i painted my engine bay bracket um now it was on it wasn't off but this is uh this is still painted, so I'm gonna try to scrape that off and hopefully I give me a good ground. And um maybe it'll start. Because this is frustrating. Like I'm gonna be relieved that this is it, but I'm also gonna be mad because that's so stupid. So let's get to sanding. Alright, I sanded it down. You can see it's silver now, except for the edges, but, and tighten, so. Now let's see, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna obviously, it obviously won't start no fucking intake on it, but see if I can at least get a click now, please, cause I, I wanna go to bed. Oh yeah. Oh shit, that worked. All right, GoPro is fully charged. It goes to show how long I've been out here. And uh, put everything back in place and get this bitch running. All right, baby. This is it. This is it. Got good ground. <sighs> Guys, pray for me. Come on, baby. Damn, that was wrong. Why? Why won't you start? What am I doing wrong? This don't work. I'm going to bed, man. 
works. I don't know. All right, your stomach full. Well, not full, but yeah, I like four gallons. You should have plenty of goddamn gas now. I don't want to hear it. Got a good battery, good grounds. You got half a tank now. If you don't start now, you're gonna have a problem. We still got a problem. <laughs> All right. Um, the, the fuel lines are reversed. And I, I pulled this off. This is the feed line. This shit dry as fuck, and this has been getting wet all goddamn day. You know, just turn the ignition on. Of course, it's splattered all over the place. If I'm correct, which I couldn't be wrong, but the feed line should go here, and that's the return. This should not be going to the return. So I need to take this off again and swap it. I don't know how that happened. Because if I recall, like I said it's been a while, but the feed line, the one with the oil filter usually has that thicker heat shield. I don't even know if I can see it. Not heat shield, but a thicker rubber. And that's usually where the oil filter, I mean fuel filter goes. So I guess I got those backwards somehow, so. All right, that's why I didn't cut any lines. I'm so glad I didn't cut any lines because that, I'm just wasting my goddamn time. I wasted lines, so. In retrospect, I don't have to do all that. I could have just went to the bottom and just swapped the two lines. So let me, God damn it. <laughs> I'm so tired, I just wanna to go to sleep. Uh, I'll put these lines back and then I'll just swap the bottom lines from the bottom. So they, ah, shit. And then it'll go through here instead of here. Jesus Christ. All right, bottom hose is off. About to pull, I mean, top hose is off. Now this is the feed, so this is probably gonna be messy. Oh yeah. Oh, that was my eye. I got fuel in my eye. I live. I got two of them. It's a good thing it didn't start because I definitely forgot to put that in there. <laughs> she probably would have sprayed fucking everywhere. All right. I put this damn manifold on again. I'm so sick of this damn manifold. I swear to God, I'm sick of looking at you, bro. So sick of looking at you. Fuck you and your two studs. I'm going to bed, bro. This is it. This is it. I'm going to fire this motherfucker up and I'm going to bed. It's time. It's time. Oh, I'm going to turn this camera on again because I need all the angles. That shit on 14%. That's how long I've been trying to film this shit. It's gonna start. I swear to God, it's gonna start. It's gonna have to start. It's gonna have to start. There's no reason it shouldn't start. Come on, baby. Why? Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh, come on, baby. You're getting there. Ooh. Okay. It's a lot of smoke, goddamn. All right, now what I gotta do to keep you running? I can't hit the gas because I didn't hook the damn throttle cable up. <laughs> I got an idea. Just a little bit. A 
That shit flew right off. Yo, I'm sick of this mariachi music. I ain't got nothing against mariachi music, but seriously, shut the fuck up. Come on, man. All right, guys, it's damn near midnight, so this is the last try, and I will have to figure it out later. I'm just gonna... I mean, it's gonna be damn near open throttle <laughs> if it starts. So, I mean, I don't know. But, uh, I guess we'll see. No, nah, it just died quick as hell. Man, I don't know what the hell's going on. All right, well, that's gonna do it for tonight. I give up. Fixed a lot of little mistakes and learned a little bit about myself, but no start. Sorry. This, uh, I don't know, man. This sucks. I don't, I don't know what else to do. <sighs> Good night for now. All right, guys, it's a different night. I pulled the intake manifold off again and rechecked everything um and this time when i put the intake manifold on i made sure all all my sensors were plugged in um throttle position sensor the other sensors um i even put the vacuum line on for the fuel pressure regulator so everything should work i even plugged the hole in the bottom of the uh throttle body shit with the damn lug nut because i want no extra air no vacuum leaks it it should start now if it don't start then I guess I need a math but right now I don't have a math I need an M52 math I only have an M50 math because I'm M50 life over there so let's try to start this thing and please be the last time I try because I'm tired of looking at this thing to be honest so everything is plugged in And now the, now the damn battery wants to be dead. <laughs> all right, all right, that's fine. All right, I think this thing's probably getting low, but hopefully it's enough to uh, jump it one more time. The only thing I can't do is uh, rev it because I don't have, my throttle cable's kind of fucked up, so that doesn't help, but... <laughs> I think we got it. I think we got it. This is it, guys. This is it. <laughs> Come on, baby. Sounds like a V8, like a NASCAR truck. Oh, yeah, battery's dead. Dead as a doorknob. Shit, man, I can't win. <sighs> We're so close. So now the battery's dead. So now I gotta charge my jump box and try this again in a couple hours, I guess. I'm going in the house. I, 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 I'm so mad. I hate this car right now. I don't hate you. I'm sorry, Ebony. I love you, but God, you pissing me off. Man, fuck that. I ain't waiting. I'm getting this thing going. All right, we juiced up. Ain't no damn excuses now. No excuses. This is it. Let's do it. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta get out here and rev it. I gotta rev it. Hold on. I can't reach the damn pedal. All right.
Yes! Oh! Oh, I did it! I did it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I did it! Oh my god! Where's my phone? I gotta hurry before it starts running hot. Ain't no damn cooling in that motherfucker. Alright guys, this is going to do it for this video. I, as you can see on my face, I am extremely, extremely happy right now. I might cry, but I think I'm going to wait and do it off camera. <laughs> but I'm extremely happy. I'm proud. I'm really proud of myself right now for doing this. Doing this in my own garage. Never done this before. I've done some general maintenance, like I said before, but it's something this big I've never done before. So... I am really, really proud. Thank you, Ray, for helping with the wiring because I probably never would have figured that out or it would have took me like three weeks to figure that out. Uh, thanks, everybody that came over, helped me guide the engine in there. And um, yeah, I'm just uh, really, really happy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big step. Still got a lot of work to do. Still got to install turbo kit. Still got to do all cooling and all that stuff, front end, everything. We still got a lot of work to do, but where we're at right now is a huge huge step i feel like a big weight just got lifted off my shoulders i feel like i can move on now because this is in my mind like will it start and how will it run and stuff like that so it's good it seems good of course it's really loud because there's it's pretty much open header right now but uh it's it's good i think it's good i don't even have a math that's why i won't stay idling for too long but we're we're good we're making a step in the right direction so i'm really happy thank you guys for watching stay tuned for the next one deuces